Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video and out for the latest from the live radar from for the latest UKV have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days so we are very warm still at the moment temperatures in the mid to high 20s over the next couple of days but it could get exceptionally hot in central and eastern areas through Sunday and Monday where temperatures are likely to skyrocket up to the highest temperatures of the year so far up towards the mid 30s 34 to 36 degrees is looking like our pretty widespread top temperature and there's a small chance it could be even hotter than that 37 or even dare i say 38 could be a possibility in a few isolated spots and that would threaten our all-time june temperature record so that's one to keep a very close eye on over the next couple of days as we progress into the long term it will turn a little bit cooler as we head into the start of july but will probably remain average or above average a bit more in the way of precipitation with more of a westerly flow returning but generally speaking this hot and above average start to the summer looks likely to continue and i wouldn't be surprised to see some more hot bursts of southerly winds appearing there into early july so do remember if you enjoy the videos make sure you like and subscribe now at the moment it's not terribly settled and you see from the live radar i'm calling this around half nine in the evening uh, thursday evening that is you can see there's quite a bit of rain moving in from the west but it is going to mainly impact those northern and western areas southern and eastern areas will avoid this as this moves southwest to northeast and it will slowly get pushed away as the hot higher pressure makes a return in the next few days now to look at the temperatures this evening Warmest in the east, but nothing too warm. Temperatures today have been decent, above average in central and eastern areas. Further north to westwards, a little bit cooler around the mid-20s in those best spots. But it's all going to change in the next few days. Now, do head over to the latest UKV. See if bits and bobs of that rain moving through tonight. Maybe a bit of rain in the south and the east for a time around 1 or 2 a.m. But most, I was just going to see a sprinkling of rain before that clears through very quickly. Into Friday, a bit of rain in the north, but generally, England and Wales, dry and sunny temperatures will respond. High 20s are possible. The same could be said for Saturday, much more reduced precipitation and cloud, and it will be much warmer. And the winds veer to a southerly come Sunday, then it starts to turn very hot. Low 30s are possible. The same could be said for Monday, where it could even get into the mid 30s, but a few thunderstorms could be triggered that's something to keep a close eye on and even into tuesday it could be exceptionally hot once again mid 30s could be seen to start july but we suspect the subsequent days for it to cool off quite substantially you can see over the next 24 hours the air mass is going to warm up towards the double digits by friday afternoon and that will progress more and more into the weekend where the mid-teens start to come out that gives us the risk of 30 degrees and then we start to see some exceptionally hot air arriving through sunday night into monday the 18 19 20 degree isotherm moving in that is ridiculously hot and that hangs around even into tuesday but we can see it slowly cooling down from the west now, if you look at the max temperatures today, mid 20s, pretty decent, but much cooler in the northwest, mid to high teens. As we head into Friday, again, 25 to 27 for central areas, more around the high teens, further north and westwards. And then look at Saturday temperatures are climbing much higher in the east, 28 to 30 degrees, starting to get towards that hot territory, cooler still in the northwest. But by Sunday, you can start to see a more widespread mid to high 20s, even into parts of Republic of Ireland, Northern England, and some 20 degrees there into Scotland. And then Monday, look at that extreme heat across much of England and Wales. Low 30s, maybe even 35 or 36 degrees for the final day of June. And then again into Tuesday, more confined to those eastern areas. But once again, 34, 35, or even 36 could be seen once again. So yes, not particularly long-lasting by Wednesday and definitely Thursday. This would have all swept away. But at least for two or three days, it is going to be ridiculously hot. Hottest conditions we've seen since last summer. And as I said, if we get towards that 38 degree range on uh, Monday, then we could even be threatening the all time June temperature record. But that is something that we'll have to wait and see. It is definitely on the top end of the runs at the moment, but it is a possibility. And we are, of course, heading to Friday tomorrow, so not too far away.
Now, if you look at the latest GFS, a westy flow at the moment, but with that slight southerly tilt into the weekend, that allows that very hot air to move in. Europe is insanely hot at the moment, and that means that any southerly push brings that very hot air our way. Beyond that, though, later on next week, you see more of a westerly flow and a west to northwesterly wind returning, but generally it's probably still warm and mostly dry. You can see, though, later on into July, another burst of southerly winds here, potentially more of a thundery southerly flow with more. Uh, more of a trough developing there but again ridiculously hot here for the 11th of july and again if we zoom in and have a look at those top temperatures you'll be able to see it is again ridiculously hot mid to upper 30s would be seen in this sort of scenario um, and you can see maybe even 40 degrees across europe so another burst of heat here as we head towards the middle third of the month before again that gets swept away by more low pressure off the Atlantic, potentially with showers and storms. If we compare to the GM, again, a westerly flow pushing in a moment, southerly winds through the weekend, but again, that westerly returns later on next week, but it generally stays dry and fairly pleasant here out towards the day 10 period. And you see the upper air temperatures are still hovering around average or above average. So not expecting it to cool down massively, but not be as intensely hot as it is now. If you do look at the latest ECM Earth to finish off, again, that westerly flow gets uh, superseded by the southerly winds this weekend. That clears off and then it looks dry, but westerly, which means if we put the upper end temperatures, it's average in terms of those temperatures there into the first week of July. Now, to finish off, if we look at the latest ensemble, we see the upper end temperatures climbing over the next 24 hours, kind of hovering around warm if not hot territory, and the 15 degree ice firm. And then you see that jump through Sunday and Monday, and then potentially hang around for Tuesday around the 20 degree ice firm, before it does drop off quite quickly through Wednesday and Thursday, back towards average, and then hovering around average. But you see the operational run with that another spike there around the 10th of July. Definitely, yes, on the hotter end of the ensembles, but definitely a plausible scenario, as we could see another burst of extreme heat there. Generally speaking, though, precipitation is still fairly low. Definitely showers and storms are a possibility, but not expecting anything too major at this stage. And if we finish by looking at the latest ECMWF ensembles, it's probably very similar. Very hot over the next four or five days. Big drop off into early next week. And I said it could be a bit of a thundery breakdown as that occurs. Out of the range of the UKV at this stage, but the ensembles here definitely showing potentially a bit more in the way of precipitation here. And then hovering around average for the foreseeable future so i have to keep a very close eye on this weekend and start of next week some really hot conditions could be coming even hotter than it was last week exceptionally oppressive and it's simply the fact that the ground is hotter the european heat is hotter and we are just generally heading to the hottest period of the year so all those things coinciding with a ridiculously oppressive end there to june Again, we'll give you another update over the next couple of days looking at this in more detail. Hopefully you can pinpoint those temperatures a little bit better. But yeah, it looks like those temperatures will be escalating once again later on this week. We've been predicting this for a number of weeks now, these hot and cool spells. Hot for a few days, cool for three to five days, hot again for a few days. And this is kind of like the third rotation we've had in the past month or so. Can we see a fourth rotation? Definitely possible. Uh, but at this stage, it does look like it is going to turn cooler um, back again next week. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed subscribing new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.